Gentle Giants Derek Shulman on firing Elton John. I'm John Bowden from rockhistorymusic.com. Might not be something you want to put on a resume. I fired Elton John, but in this case, it was pre-Elton. Reginald Kenneth Dwight, or Reg Dwight to be more accurate. The Shulman brothers from Gentle Giant, before they were Gentle Giant, were in a band called Simon Dupree and the Big Sound. Elton John was part of that. There was a point where the boys, the three brothers specifically, decided they didn't want to be a pop band. They didn't want to continue playing this kind of music, even though they had a few hits, most notably Kites in 1967. So they banded together and decided they wanted to do something more progressive. Unfortunately, Reginald Dwight, Elton John, was not to be part of that. Derek says as he was telling Elton that they were moving on from the old band and from him, Elton played a couple of his songs, Skyline Pigeon and Your Song. But even then, it was too late. The band was heading in another direction. Derek shares that story with us. I can't imagine how that marriage could have continued. Um, and you, as the liner notes say, after listening to, I mean, you'd already made up your mind that Elton wasn't going to be in the band even before hearing Skyline Pigeon and your song, correct? Well, uh, well, we're not sure. We're not sure. What what happened was Elton, or Reg, should, should I say, um, was in our, our my first band, Simon Dupree and the Big Sound, and originally as kind of like a deputy. Dep he was he was deputy for our original keyboard player who was sick. So we did a couple of tours with Reg. And he became really good friends with me and my brother Ray. And we whispered in his ear. We said, you know what, Reg, we're gonna we're gonna break the band up and we're gonna start something new. And he said, Wow, I'd love to do something, you know, which is interesting and new and, and uh, so we said, Great. I mean you know, so we went to Watford a couple of times where he lived with his mom. He just teamed up with Bernie. Um, and um, and so we said, and that's the point where we, we were looking and we had our benefactor step in, if you like. And so we, we were about to finish that first group. And we said, so, so Red, what, are you, what kind of music are you into? What are you doing? The first thing he said to us actually was, have you heard this, about this group in America called Spirit? And we, we, we heard about them, but we, we hadn't heard anything. He said, you should hear that this band is a, a killer band that really kind of is doing something new and have great riffs. And, and he, actually, he actually introduced us the spirit, believe it or not, um, which I have to hand it to. He's a, he was a real music, and probably still is, a music aficionado. Uh, anyway, so we, we uh, went up to Watford and uh, we spoke and met his mom and, and, uh, and he said, here's a couple of songs that I think would be great for this new thing. So we played Skyline Pigeon, um, which we thought, yeah, this is nice, and, and your song. And we said, that's nice. And then had dinner and, and went home. We, me and Ray went home before us. But we looked at each other and said, not for us. Thank God for him. Because <laughs> he became Elton John and two years later became massive and we were struggling to get, get gigs. So, you know, it, so it, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a match, but he was certainly uh, an incredible songwriter and a good guy and a good friend. Well, you know, it goes back to what we talked about the first time we talked, which is, you know, just because you break your leg, you think it's the end of the world, or because you lose your job, you think it's the end of the world, but no one knows what's coming around the corner, and maybe he might have been a little down, but as life goes, there's surprises around the corner of going, A, that's, it's apples and oranges, man. That You were, you guys were apples, he was an orange. Well, you know, it, you know we, we briefly spoke about it earlier, but, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, and we're concerned, and anyone's concerned, you know, when one door closes, others open, whatever they are. And, and, and to, to go back and, and, uh, and say, damn it, I should have, could have. No, you know what? There's always open doors anywhere. There really are. You know, when I'm older and not much wiser, but I still believe the doors will open there. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.